Okay, everyone, is Edward Dupass uh, with uh, this particular project um, for week five. Violence in media causes desensitization and contributes to aggressive behavior. There are a number of other factors to consider along with the increased depiction of violence in media and its effects, but repeated exposure to violence has been found to decrease sensitivity in portions of the brain. I mentioned this in a previous video you know, where decision-making, self-control, and inhibition reside. That was from the Archer 2013 article, Violence, the Media, and Your Brain. In addition, the length of this exposure can affect an individual over their lifetime. This shows how we can also look at a person's economic status and the environment in which they live on either end of the spectrum to demonstrate how they become numb to, and even in some cases, try to emulate the violent behavior they have seen or been subjected to. Exposure to violence affects all socioeconomic statuses, so people in general are all susceptible to desensitization and aggressive behavior. Although it has been seen that families in lower socioeconomic status groups have increased exposure for example, a study by Buka, Stick, Bird Thistle, and Felton in 2001 found that young people in low-income areas witnessed more violent acts in relation to their middle and upper income counterparts, whether it be news, television, or out their window. As we live in an immersive, media-rich world, being subject to news, television, games, all of these of a violent nature, many young adults spend more time engulfed by these violent images and scenarios. While many studies like the one by Lindsay Robertson, Helena McNally, and Robert Hancock do not take socioeconomic status into consideration when it makes the statement that excessive television viewing in childhood and adolescence is associated with increased antisocial behavior in early adulthood, we can say with confidence and paired with other studies that if we exercise deductive reasoning in saying children whose households that do not interact regularly with that child and leave that child's upbringing to television, media, that through a conscious or unconscious effort, they are ensuring that the violence depicted in media desensitizes them and fosters more aggressive behavior as they grow older. Thank you. And that is all.